Hi, I'm Marco, one of the teachers of Italian at www.linguaitaliana.com and today I'm going to show you Sirolo, one of the most charming small towns of the Adriatic Riviera del Conero, south of Ancona, in the Marco region. It's 6.15 a.m. and we are here in the wonderful San Michele beach at the slopes of Mount Conero, an impressive promontory that stretches out into the Adriatic and which has been a regional natural park since 1987. San Michele is a wide and long beach with white small pebbles that turn to pink sand near the water's edge. North of San Michele, just below the mountain, the beach gets narrower and the pebbles are replaced by white limestone and darker sedimentary rocks. This part of the beach is called Sassineri, black rocks, and the dark color of the rocks in the water is also amplified by the black mussels which cover them. This area is wide and incontaminated. The water is crystal clear and even in peak season you can find spots where you will be the only person to enjoy the beauty of the place. By the way, if you like fish and seafoods you shouldn't miss a romantic dinner at the restaurant Da Silvia from where you can enjoy a beautiful panoramic view of the whole bay. What else? The sea is calm, everything is quiet and we just experienced one of the most exciting sunrises ever. A few hundred meters south of here, we find another lovely bay with a pebble and sandy beach called Spiaggia Urbani and which lies just below the beautiful town of Sirolo. Being a small beach of about 300 meters is usually crowded in July and August, but the crystal clear water, its grottoes, the white cliffs, the Mediterranean vegetation make it one of the most precious jewels of the Riviera del Conero. Behind the pier, left of the cave, you can find Ilavi, white smooth limestone hanging cliffs from where in the hot summer days local people love to dive into the transparent water. On the Urbani beach there are also some nice bars a couple of restaurants and a little picturesque hotel with a wonderful view on the sea. But now let's climb up the steep rail that would take us to the center of Sirolo. In the summertime there is a public bus service which connects the beach to town, but if you feel sporty and you're not in a hurry, you can try the narrow track just above the parking lot, which will lead you directly to the panoramic terrace in Sirolo's main square. After a 15-minute walk uphill, we have finally reached our destination. The central Piazza Veneto is very well looked after. 
It is surrounded by picturesque traditional houses, and on one side we have the church of San Nicolò and its typical white bell tower. As in most of the typical Italian villages, the piazza is the lively heart of the town, and especially in the summer months, this is the stage for several events and live shows. At daytime, the piazza and the Corso Italia re-evoke the atmosphere of an ancient lively village filled with tempting food and gift shops selling homemade and local produce such as ceramics, paintings, clothes, jewelry and a lot, lot more. But in the evening the piazza turns into an elegant lounge with its ice cream parlors and open-air seafood restaurants. The center of town still preserves the urban plan of the ancient medieval castle, with houses built in the typical white Conero stone and the delightful narrow alleys. The historical center is surrounded by impressive city walls. Near the south gate, still perfectly preserved, you can find a medieval tower which dates back to the 11th century. Beside the small but characteristic Cortesi town theatre, built with limestones in the typical style of the area. Well, after a nice lunch in one of the typical restaurants in the main piazza, it's time to reach our final destination, at the end of this long but pleasant day in Sirolo, La Spiaggia delle Due Sorelle, literally the Two Sister Beach, considered as a symbol of the Conero Riviera. It is a delightful secluded bay named so after the two twin limestone cliffs which rise out of the water and which give name to this lovely sandy beach located just below the highest peak of the Conero Promontory. The beach is only accessible by the sea or through a difficult steep trail which snakes down the mountain from the Passo del Lupo, Pass of the Wolf, a natural balcony which offers a dramatic view of the beach from a height of over 100 meters upon the sea level. From here you can see the south coast of La Marca for many many miles and on clear days it's even possible to see the Croatian coast and its islands on the opposite side of the Adriatic. At the moment being unfortunately the trade to the beach has been closed for danger of landslides by the authorities of Sirolo so the only legal way to get down to the beach is going by boat, but still some fearless hikers well equipped with hiking boots, water and a camera prefer to reach the beach from above. During the summer tourists can get here by boat, which leaves from Numana's Arbor at 9 or 10 in the morning and returns at 11.30 or 3 p.m. Since 1994, Sirolo has received every year the prestigious European Blue Flag Award thanks to the high quality of its facilities, clean sea, unspoiled nature and the wild beauty of the Conero Regional Park.